So let's introduce the participants.
If he's slacking, I don't know what to tell you. Welcome back, welcome back to the Chop Shop 2.0, folks. We are embarking upon the second half of the riot before Christmas. Bobby Rossi here alongside Derek Simonetti. Derek, I know you've got your hand, hand in the management pot here. Why don't you explain the stipulations of this matchup that we're watching? All of the championships are on the line. De Hood's champions of the tag team division. Shea Cash, uh, arguably sneaking by as a hype champion. And on the opposite side of the ring, you have the Epidemic, Sean Leader and Tom Billington, and of course, their sister, Isana. At least Tom's sister. The rules go like this. If someone should happen to pin Shea Cash, they will win the hype championships. If somebody should happen to pin Davey, uh, Davey Cash or Chris Pyro, the tag team titles will change hands. Very interesting dynamic, and I gotta ask, is that because of some of the controversy that the Hype Championship title has been under? Because like you said, Shane Cash, you know, he's, he's kind of skated by a lot of hairy situations. I mean, last month he screwed five minutes off the clock against yeah. Theodore Liftington. Yeah, all of a sudden that, that, that timer went from six to one minute, come on. And Liftington is a proficient had proficient con uh, combatants, but a minute? I don't think so. That wouldn't have been enough time to get it done. And as we know already, the Hype Championship should be defended on every show. There is a 10-minute time limit to that matchup at every time, as there is with this one, if I'm not mistaken. I don't believe this match has a time limit, but yes, traditionally the Hype rules uh, would apply to singles competition, being this is a unique situation. Honestly, I did not book this match, and I did not set it up, but we shall uh, we shall definitely see how she goes. Sean Leader waving goodbye to the opposite side, and a big arm drag and a drop kick. Leader and Pyro mixing it up pretty hot and heavy early on in this contest. Just under two minutes, and it might seem like a war has already taken place. I like seeing Sean Leader with the spark back. Something has changed since last month. He's been, being, he's been acting really lazy and tired lately, but today it looks like he's kicking on all cylinders. Oh, that's four feet in the double drop kick. Tandem offense here, cover. A petty kick drop kick in the wheel. <laughs> See what you did there, Simon Eddie. No, it's what they did there. I sit corrected. Chris Pyro getting his shoulder up off the canvas just in enough time to keep this match underway. Tom Billington, oh, with an assisted neck breaker cover here. 
Jeremy Bell says this match will still continue. Just now approaching the three minute mark and with six combatants in this matchup, you can expect things to change quite often. Very typical in this style of match, considering all the gold that's on the line as well. Tom Billington has been dealing, not only losing the hype title in nefarious fashion, but he's been dealing with an injury for the last little while. He has still managed to be successful as he has won tag team gold outside of RWA uh, with, with, with Sean Leader as a member of the Dick Busters. But to say that he's 100% would be a lie. Chris Pyro is 100% focused on his adversary right now. Kicking leader up unceremoniously. A lot of extension on that belly to back souffle cover here, but very much lazy over the top. It was a textbook maneuver, but he didn't execute that lateral press the way he should have. No, he really shouldn't have. I mean, maybe he's just making, looking to take leader out slowly over time, but not, not the mode of offense I would choose. That was a quick tag. Shea Cash made the legal man, immediately tags into Davey. What's he gonna do? Oh! Montezuma's revenge! Sean Leader, a human pendulum now, suffering all of the violence issued out by the Hoods. AJ Hot filling in for Chris Pyro last month. As you can see, the Hoods are in their truest of forms here tonight. Nothing AJ or Hot about what is going on in that ring right now. Oh! The self-proclaimed king of the chop shop chopping the guts out of Sean Leader. Oh, wow. Oh, one half of the epidemic still in quite a bit of peril, if you ask me. Shady Shea Cash tags himself in. Up. Oh, Manhattan drop on the Schneebitzes. And another back suplex covered by Shea. Didn't hook a leg. That's day one material right there, Simon Eddy. I don't know if these guys are just lazy or cocky or what. Maybe they're underestimating their opponents. My first day in the business, they taught me how to throw my body out of the ring over the top rope. So maybe second day business for Chaotic back in 04. But... <laughs> oh! Certainly were different times. We're talking about the times of right now. Sean Leader, in my opinion, has spent the most amount of time in this matchup uh, for both teams, as a matter of fact. Seen some fresh tags between all of the hoods. And that, that, that's smart legwork right there. They're really spreading out the workload between all three of them. Tom Billington was in there for a spell, but Sean Leader has taken the majority of this matchup for sure. Quick tags from, from the Secret City Soldiers. Ooh, and a plate of soul food served up to Davy Cash. Chris Leader now, he's just thrown up against the ropes. He barrels over the back of Chris Pyro. Look at this, Simon Eddy. Sean Leader looking for the wrong corner right now. Both men lined up. Double drop kick, a single drop kick to two people. <laughs> That's Sean Leader for you, he innovates. He is able to improvise at a moment's notice. One of the most tenacious athletes we have on the RWA roster, he ducks Sarsunda. underneath, and he makes the tag! Tag to Isana right after Shay. Kicking the cherry, stop the momentum for both hoods. Suplex number one. Oh, she doesn't like being called bitch. Pyro blindly charges in and it doesn't bode well for him. Shady Shea Cash with a big swing and a miss. Wait a minute, she's gonna try and suplex Shea Cash. Oh! Spinning back fist knocks out the suplex sweetheart momentarily. Davy Cash with the cover. Two! Oh, that was close. Extremely close. Jay Cash probably thinking in his head, bitch slap after that backhand. <laughs> I mean, that had a whole lot of mustard on it. I'm surprised Isana was even able to wake up in time to answer the three count, to be honest with you. Davy Cash got her screaming in the middle of the ring. Secret City soldiers awfully proud of themselves. 
They've done a very good job of containing the epidemic along with Isana. But Billington is just chomping at the bit to get back into this matchup. You can see it on the expression on his face. A.B. Cash pulling the nose away from the bottom of the head. Oh, look at this. Chris Pyro and Shea with a choke. Jeremy Bell none the wiser. The Epidemic have had enough, but that's just making things worse. And now a fake blind tag to Shea Cash. This is classic hoods at work here. And with Shady Shea having been the understudy of both of them for so many years, man, this trio is truly thick as thieves. Things are really starting to boil down poorly for the epidemic and the suplex sweetheart. Momentum needs to be on their side, but uh, the Secret City soldiers have remained strong this whole bout. Sean Leader worn out on the apron. Tom Billington, as I've said, not spent a lot of time in this match. Probably the most healthy and spry, but still nursing an injury. Another double blind tag. And Chris Pyro is now the pretend legal man. Jeremy Bell has had himself fooled quite a few times in this matchup, and I would expect nothing different from the Secret City Soldiers, adding much insult to injury in the process. Wait a minute! Crunch time on Chris Pyro! Might that have been the last little bit of wind in her sails? Neither competitor has gotten up off the mat at this point. And we're just now approaching the 10 minute mark of this matchup, folks. You can see both teams are running on fumes right now. Tag made by Pyro. And here comes Tom Billington. Double hammer. Next we can miss by Davy Cash too. Ooh, whoopee cushion. Doesn't see Pyro. Billington now thrusted into the opposing buckles. Pyro gets met with a boot to the face. And another whoopee cushion to Chris Pyro. Shea Cash had enough of this. German suplex! And Billington is completely decimated the opposing team single-handedly. He is feeling the momentum. He's got him trapped in the lung blower. Big pump kick by Sean Leader. Oh, wait a minute. We have seen this before. Oh, right to the bridge of the neck and crushing both men. Cover. Two. Oh, she cashed at the last second. The chaos continues to ensue here in this matchup. The Chop Shop 2.0 is about to have the roof torn off from this match. Secret City Soldiers. Epidemic, Suplex Sweetheart, all of which have gone to war. He misses with that big spinning back fist. Isana trying to get a German. The Hood's keeping it from happening. Oh! Welcome to the party! Fuck you. Oh, a double clothesline from Tom Billington puts both Hoods down, and Shea is getting back to his feet. Shots from the midsection up to the jowls. Billington gets met with all of the heavy hitter. Sean Leader now manages Wait. to get to his feet off of Tom Billington's back. Oh! That did not look good for either Tom or Sean. Shea Cash. Shea Cash going after Isana. Rip cord, ducks the clothesline, rolls him up, cover two! Wait a minute! Bobby, what do you have for time on that? I'm, I'm looking at my stopwatch right now, Simon Eddie, and it looks to me that the finishing time was 12 minutes. 8.56 seconds to be exact. And if I'm not mistaken, that high title should not be changing hands right now. That should be within the 10 minute window. Those are the rules you set forth. 
folks. My broadcast colleague having a hand in somewhat of the booking here. It's just gotten up off the table. Is technically speaking, any and every hype championship title defense is only allotted 10 minutes to happen. If the timer ends at the end of the 10 minutes, so does the matchup. With this match ending at 12 minutes and 8 seconds, technically speaking, Isana did not rightfully win that title. The time limit was more than 10 minutes, which means yes. that I cannot change hands. Therefore, kill your IWA champion. Simon Eddie, look, I, I don't even want to put words in your mouth, but I know. I know that that was probably one of the hardest decisions you had to make recently. I'm the one who made the new rules. If, if I don't police them, then no one will. I didn't expect that to happen. No, but you know, like you said, you, you didn't have a hand in booking this matchup. With the two titles both being up for grabs, both sets of stipulations were also prominent. Shady Shade Cash with all of his sexism on display. It's a bit much to watch, folks. I, I sincerely apologize on behalf of the Secret City Soldiers. Challenge has been made. Folks, the riot before Christmas will continue. We've got more action on tap.